say hello to your new favorite pair of boots. These are the Lems Boulder Boot. What are they? What makes them special? Keep on watching our honest review of the Lems Boulder Boot to find out. Okay, let me be honest here for just a second. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I started looking at minimalist footwear. Now, I first came across the term when I did the review for Birchberry shoes. And if you remember, I like the shoes. They're comfortable, they're easy to wear. They have what's called zero drop, which means they're nice and flat. It's kind of like being barefoot, but not looking like the old Vibram Five Fingers. The only thing that we didn't love about them was the look. I didn't mind them, but my wife said, no way. And if you're married, that's just one less battle to fight. And when I was doing research for the Birchberry shoes, I came across this Lems Boulder boot. And I really liked it. For some reason, it still has the wide toe, but it doesn't look silly. It just looks like a nice hiking boot. And I had to try it out. So I got a pair and they have a lot of the same ideas around minimalist footwear that Birchberry and other brands do, but their shoes don't look like totally out there. And their story is actually pretty cool. In 2008, the creator, Andrew Redmacher, if I said that right, reaches in point searching for shoes that fit the natural shape of the foot. So he started out by dissecting his favorite running shoes and cutting out extra unnecessary material. He learned the art and science of shoemaking in his own way. And so he designed his own shoes, and that's pretty cool. Now, not all their shoes look pretty normal. There's some shoes that, you know, only a mother could love, like this one. But overall, they make some really high quality products that are all based around this mindset about being minimalist, zero drop or next to zero drop on the shoe, and they are super comfortable. So first, let me tell you who the Lems Boulder Boot are for. Now first, let me tell you who these boots are for. These boots are perfect for the person who wants to wear shoes or boots, but doesn't like the super heavy boots. I have this pair of Chippewa Chekas, try saying that 10 times fast, and I love them, but they are so stinking heavy. These Lems Boulder boots, man, these are a mouthful, is a really good blend of the best of fashion, function, minimalist design, and comfort. And I'll dive deeper into each one of these as we go on. Now, who are these boots not for? They are not for the most fashion forward shoe lover or the most progressive minimalist or the most extreme hiker. They're for the 85, 90% of us that want a good looking shoe that they can wear out walking with the kids outside, going on a light hike, and even just wearing them with jeans like I am here in this video. Most people are not on the extremes, but if you're somewhere there in the middle, you are going to love these shoes. All right, the Lems Boulder Boot Review, The Comfort. As I mentioned, I have these pair of Chippewa Chuckas that I love, and when you know it's gonna be yucky outside, I tend to put these on, but they are so heavy. They feel like I have ankle weights on when I wear them, especially if I'm working from home. I'm not wearing shoes most of the time, and if I do wear shoes, I typically wear Allbirds, which also don't weigh anything. And it's a huge difference when you put those on. I was so excited to get the Lem shoes. Guess how much they weigh? Only nine ounces. Yes, they weigh only nine ounces. That is correct. And to put that in comparison, that's about the same weight as these Allbirds that you see here. And definitely less than these Kohan Zero Grand shoes you see here, which I thought were light when I got those. Of course, what you're gonna see in any review for Lem's Boulder Boot is just how flexible it is. I wouldn't recommend doing this, it will wrinkle up the shoe, but they are that flexible. And because they are that flexible, they are that comfortable. They're also just incredibly lightweight and they move with you. It's almost like you're wearing nothing at all, but you get that ankle support. All right, the Lem's Boulder Boot review, the function. Now, how I describe this is good, more than middle ground performance. Once again, this is not for the person that needs this for the extremes. If you are gonna be hiking, I don't know, Half Dome and need a super solid shoe that you just know will not break, I maybe wouldn't go with this. 
But for taking your kids out for a walk, going on a light, nice hike, no problem wearing these whatsoever. In fact, I would say 98% of the things that I do outside, I could wear these boots. But once again, I'm not going anywhere crazy. I got a two-year-old and a four-year-old and yeah, we're just not doing that. All right, now the look. As I mentioned at the beginning, these shoes, just because they're boots and they're bigger and they're clunkier in general, they don't look as different as like the Birchberry shoes do. They do have that wide toe box. And as interesting on the LEMS website, they have this visual that shows you why the wide toe box is super important. It's because traditional shoes really cramp your feet and their shoes, well, they don't. They even have these crazy spacers that you can use. I haven't gotten that far. I am barefoot because I work from home and then at night I work on these videos and I don't wear shoes most of the time. So I don't really have this problem, I don't think. But there is a whole crowd that really believes in this whole minimalist movement. And once again, it's not for the extremes. You know, if you are a super hardcore minimalist, I've read that there's some debate on whether the shoe is 100% zero drop, but it's pretty close to zero drop. If it's not, once again, that drop is just the shoe being completely flat. The other cool thing about the shoe is it comes in a couple of different styles. So they have a waterproof style. They have a nylon, a mid, a mid vegan, a vegan, and that waterproof option. The other thing that these shoes do not have that something like the Chippewa Chekas do that I showed you is the outsole. The outsole is super lightweight and that's probably one of the heaviest parts of most boots that you've ever tried. And a lot of shoes have Vibram soles and not Vibram five fingers, but just Vibram soles. And it's a tread that really withstands a lot of different terrain, keeps you from slipping. These shoes do not have that. They have a nice rubber sole, um, but it's not gonna give you any problems on 99% of what you're trying to do. Okay, the final verdict. Overall, I really surprisingly like the Lems Boulder boot. It's a really great take on a traditional style. While it's not the most fashionable boot, you know, it doesn't look like Timberlands or it doesn't look like those Chippewa Chukkas, which have a real classic style, it's a good blend. And actually, my wife approves of these boots. She didn't approve of the Birch Bear shoes, if you do remember, and so do I. They are super comfortable and frankly i'm gonna be a lot more likely to put on a pair of boots versus a pair of just tennis shoes or all birds because they don't weigh anything and they're super comfortable on it is such a giant pain to get those chippewa chukkas on and they're just so heavy and frankly i don't need them for walking across the street to meet someone for coffee and you probably don't too for most of the times you need these if you are a serious extreme hiker Maybe check out something else, but for the 95% of us that just want a good pair of boots so we can take hiking, wear outside, and be super comfortable in, check out the Lems Boulder Boot. I'll put a link here below to get you the best deal that we've found. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And did you like this? Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're always producing new content like this because we see these products just like you do. And we're like, huh, is that stuff like any good or is that just all hype? And we want to get to the bottom of them and give you our honest opinion. We hope to see you again real soon.